going to turn out to 14 and counting. This is an incredible mm -hmm. family you're about to meet. The Hams from Arizona. There they are, two dads, 12 kids from five separate adoptions. Robert and, Roger and Stephen Ham brought home their first child in 2003. The family just kept growing from there. So how do they manage it all? Take a look. They make the Brady Bunch look like a starter family. Six kids, that's nothing. Try raising 12. Here's breakfast at the Ham House on a typical Sunday morning. Sausage, bacon, pancakes, a mountain of food for an army of kids. Yeah, don't be flinging your fingers. You're getting it all over. Now this is supposed to be a day of rest, but you wouldn't know it from everything going on. Arm wrestling, nail cutting, basketball playing, and rope swinging. He started everything. <laughs> That's Michael. He was just five when Roger and Steve got him from foster care. You know, we met Michael, and Michael just happened to have five siblings. So they worked to reunite the whole family. And soon Michael's siblings, Vanessa, Elizabeth, Jackson, Madison, and Andrew, joined the clan. Once we had six, it was like, what's one more? You know, and then it just, yeah, it's, it's, yeah. what's another, it's two more. <laughs> then came Logan and Isabel, Cooper and Olivia, Marcus and Ambrose. Finally, the ham stopped at an even dozen. The house used to seem pretty spacious, but now every room is piled high with kids. They may not be biological siblings, but in their hearts, I think they, they all know that they're, they're siblings, and to me, that's amazing. After breakfast came church, then McDonald's for lunch, followed by an afternoon swim. I'm going swimming. But like all families, the fun was punctuated by drama. Andrew has a fever. Who threw up? And Cooper seems to have a stomach ache. Who threw up? I'm second, I'm first. The exhausting day ends with bath time. The little ones line up, wait their turn. Is it wait turn next. Good night. Night night. Then it's off to bed. One down, eleven go. You know, we just happen to be two gay men who adopted twelve children. It's not amazing to us. It's just our life. Family is love. And here they are live, Roger and Stephen Ham, along with their children, Michael, Vanessa, Elizabeth, Jackson, Madison, Andrew, Logan, Isabel, Cooper, Olivia, Marcus, and Ambrose. Welcome to you all. Boy, you look terrific. And Stephen, Thank you. such, such an inspiring story. You said you never intended to have more than one child, and every single one of these kids are, are kids that you know, others would not adopt. You went out and, and just built a big family. We did. We did. <laughs> and uh, tell us, you know, how did it all uh, happen? Just, to, just take us through it. How, how the family continued to grow and grow and grow. How, how it turned. Well, we originally wanted one child. Um, Roger didn't want any, any children. I decided, actually I twisted his arm to get one child. Um, and that's when we went through the process of adoption through the state of Arizona. At that point, we decided um, we wanted a um, just a girl, maybe about three years old. We ended up with a five-year-old um, right here, Michael, and he just happened to have five siblings, and it just kind and of escalated just, from that so, point. You know, in some states, gay couples can't even adopt uh, children. Have you faced any hurdles because of that? Um, yeah, there was some hurdles. Um, it was especially with like the twins, they were babies and um, they weren't gonna give them to us, but um, we had to fight the state to get them and the only reason we got them is because we had their other siblings. Oh, sorry. Oh, don't be sorry. Everything okay? Somebody talking to you there? Uh, and that was, that, that was it. I mean, we just, it was a tough fight to get them, but we got them. And meanwhile, you've become the go-to guys for Child Protective Services. They've given you an award uh, f for your work, and you've taken in many other foster children along with the 12 kids you've adopted. Um, yeah, we did. We had um, over 32 foster kids that came in and out of our house because um, Stephen wanted a baby, and we had to... Um, they would call us in the middle of the night and bring us a kid. Wow, and you would take them. I, I, I am so impressed not only by your commitment, but also by how well behaved all those kids are. You guys must be doing something right. Thank you. <laughs> and what's the hardest part of raising 12 kids at a time? 
Scheduling. <laughs> Scheduling everybody's activities, definitely. Um, well, the older they get, the more scheduling we have to do. Well, we have enough trouble at home with two. I don't know how you do it with 12, but it is great to see you all so happy. And, and thank you for your, for your terrific example. Thanks very much.